All right. Let me check here. I think we're live, but I have to jump into the page to make sure. It's Friday. It says it's live. It says it's live, but I don't see it. Oh, well, we'll just, we'll keep going. There we are. Okay. Hi, everyone. I've got Amy here of Tansy Designs. Hi. And Tori, the pug. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Hi. Hi, Tamara, Freddie, Loretta, Debbie. Yay, Debbie. Marita. Good morning. All right. Well, Amy and I have our latest, uh, what are these called? Bucket, Bucket hats. Hat. Yeah. And they're reversible, aren't they, Amy? They are. There are two side seams. So I try to wear my seam on the sides. Same. Yeah. Lots of sun protection. I think, didn't you say you drove over here uh -huh. without her sunglasses blocked. on? And I have super sensitive eyeballs and I always have to have my sunglasses on, but not when my sun hat's on, my bucket yeah. hat. So, you know, you can style these. This is very Gilligan's Island, right? <laughs> this is very um, Chicago. Get our canes out and do our little tap dance. Anywho, we're going to talk about bucket hats. On the podcast this week, if you listen to our podcast, Seems Funny Podcast. <laughs> I do not have this. this. Uh, we talk about uh, doing a kind of sew along, but with no pressure. So there's no prizes, there's no schedule, just literally if you want to sew a bucket hat, get a pattern and sew one with us this week and post a pic, tag us. She's Tansy Designs, I'm So Hungry Hippie or tag the podcast, Seems Funny Podcast, and we'll share your photos. I already shared Shannon's from uh, Hello, My Name is Quilt. Yes, I saw that on yours. Yeah. I need to put it on Seems Funny Podcast. Yeah. So um, we'll get into the patterns and all of that, but I did want to tell you, if you need kind of a step-by-step, -step, it's it's speed it up. Sped up? Speed it up? Sped it up sped it up video. <laughs> and that will publish today at 2 p.m. on my YouTube channel. This is the one I sewed during that video. And it's just to kind of uh, give you a refresher if you need a little help. A lot of the free patterns out there for pattern pieces don't have directions, right? Right. Or they'll have like a quick walkthrough on their yeah. blog or something. But yeah, there, a lot of them are just pieces. Just pieces. Mi minimal, minimalistic. That's kind of trending, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, so how about you grab the pattern that we used this week? Okay. Amy and I both used Orange Betty, her, her free pattern. I'm going to link it here in the comments. I'm going to grab this link control, and post it here in the comments. There it is for you. Very simple construction, easy pattern pieces to follow. Yep. So show the uh crown the crown i call is like the part that goes here oh. this part okay side they call that crown, crown side crown side and then i i call the top the circle and then this part is the brim brim so you've got three pattern pieces to deal with super simple but one thing amy and i both did was use sf 101 interfacing on both lining hat and exterior hat just makes the it makes it a little more not so floppy not so floppy yeah gives it a little bit more style now orange betty has pattern pieces for interfacing they're a quarter of an inch smaller we don't do that both of us i think right. use the original pattern pieces so that the sf 101 is in the seams now i know why i did it why did you do it um I don't like if if you don't have it in the seams. Well, first of all, it's faster. I'm sure that's why you did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be I clear. don't like um, when I've done that in the past. Sometimes if you don't catch the interfacing in the seam allowance, then it can start pulling, pulling off or coming on, especially if you wash something and then they separate and then you've got this rumpled up interfacing, which isn't doing its job. So I just ironed it on first. Then cut. Is that did you iron yours first? Uh, what do you mean? The, the interfacing to the quilting cotton first, then cut. Absolutely. That's what I did. Yeah. I mean, in the video, I do it separately because okay. a lot of beginners, uh, like adding steps together is kind of confusing. Sure. 
So in the video that publishes at 2 p.m. today, I cut my interfacing, I cut my fabric for the exterior, and then my fabric for the interior. And then I fuse everything on and then sew it. What Amy's talking about is kind of laying your fabric pieces on the interfacing and, right? Well, well I don't want to be confusing the issue. You're not. Okay. Tell them. Like, so we have lots I of... I took the um, cooling cut and laid it out wrong side up. I Got fused it. a whole piece of interfacing to the whole piece of cotton. And then I put the pattern pieces on top of the already fused and cut all my pieces out of both already fused and stands out. Yeah, do you do that with bag making also? Yes. If I can get the pat <laughs> get a little closer. <laughs> Remember, that's a threes company. Air and extra dry. <laughs> oh <laughs> I keep thinking it's threes company or close, close up. up toothpaste. Yeah. Um yes, I do it with bag making, but the reason I don't love doing it is because I feel like sometimes if there's big pieces in between the pieces, it can be a little wasteful. Now you've got Fusible already pressed. Uh, but that's because yeah. I'm. So anyway, yes, it's way faster. And then you don't have an issue with the interfacing sometimes not lining exactly up with your pieces. Well, and that's the thing for me. A lot of times, because I'm just slamming things together, my interfacing will be a little bit bigger. And so I have to go back and trim it because what you don't want to do is sew your pieces together and you didn't catch the fabric. I've done that. Right, right. Plenty of times. So just make sure it's. Um, you know, the correct sizing for every, for all of it. But this was super simple. The first one, we talked to each other on, on the phone while we were doing it. Time. Yep. And we weren't like, what step are you doing? We were having a conversation about completely separate <laughs> other stuff. Yeah. So if we can do that and still sew, it's a miracle. That shows how easy this yeah, is. Really? Um, quick, quick make. Yes. Hi. Hi, everyone. Love it. Yes, I love a good bucket hat. Never thought about trying to make one before. Mm. Oh, you should do it, Samantha. Let's well, and see. a lot of the patterns have different sizes, so you're going to probably yeah. get a better fit, too. Well, and let's let's tell them about that for you. How many different patterns have you made? I know you brought some here. We're just, we aren't sponsored by every, anyone. We just no. are sharing, like, what we've done. And Amy has made a ton of hats, so bring them on over. Right. So that was Orange Betty. Yep. This one is, um, this one is the one I, uh, my, my style diary. Oh, my style diary um, with an extra it Y. It has an extra Y at the end. That's this one. Also, these are all, uh, reversible. So this one, I just literally just did this morning. So that's how, I mean, it's wow, so that's fast. Yeah, that's really fast. And this is almost, I mean, this pattern is very similar. Mm -hmm. This one is a different one. I like that one. So this that one, cute. it seems like a, a wider, floppier brim. It is. And um, the whole thing is a little bit bigger. This one is afternoon patterns. Afternoon patterns. This is so good. I'm learning about people I've never heard this of. This one I got a lot, like in 2020, I think. Oh. For 2019. Okay. Um, this one is actually my daughter's that I made for her. I love this one, you guys. You have to see the stitching on the other side. This is the Minky Kim yes. pattern. Right. And it, th this one is one of the few that is not symmetrical. Right. So the way I just had it on the brim is a little bit wider than the back, but you can also flip it and make the brim a little bit. So this is more, maybe like more shade on your neck. And then if you flip it around, this is maybe more shade over your eyes. So oh, I like it. Yeah. So my daughter wears it this way. This is all thrifted fabric too. Awesome. Really? Uh -huh. I would have thought that green was Liberty. So that, it Look at that enough. stitching, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Turn to the side. Do a twirl. Sashay. Kataboo Ray. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This one I bought. This one is, uh, what is this one? Maybe this is my, maybe this is my style diary. You have so many. I have so many. I can't keep them straight. I do like this one yeah, because it's really my cute. classic gray. I think this one is my style. It's diary. a signature color. This one's afternoon. Yeah. What did I mix up? Oh, that's right. Because this is my style. Diary. These are both the same. Ah, so love it. Catherine cat is asking, did you make your dress? I did indeed. She did cat. And guess what pattern it is? Trillium. Trillium. By my faith made by Ray. I still have some of those patterns in the shop. If you want to grab one. 
beginner friendly. That's the first dress I made when I first started sewing garments. Oh. Yeah. Like, I think that's 12 years ago, 2010. Yeah. 12 years ago. Oh my gosh. That was it. And we both did the hack where it's just elastic in the back instead of instead of the shearing. Pushing or shearing. Yeah, I've done both ways. Both are equally comfortable. Yeah. So not sponsored by Ray. Not sponsored. <laughs> Should be though. She'd be like, well, <laughs> Mood Fabrics has a free pattern. Yeah, didn't you make that one? I didn't make it, but I have it. Ah. So that's one to try. Yep. I also have one by Get Glory Allen, the Mirage bucket hat. Glory Ooh, Allen. Mirage, Glory Allen. That one has different sizes. So you can just Google these names, Glory Allen, um, Mood Fabrics, uh, Orange Betty, Minky Kim. You'll find, just search the bucket hat and you'll find all this, okay? Super easy. Uh, how would you go about putting little vent holes in the hats? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> cotton, this is still really breathable. I actually had it on when I was weeding this morning. The sun was blaring down on me, super hot. But my head, I didn't sweat like where I would no, think I would. Right. I didn't at all. So this is, I think, easy. One of the ones I, not this one, one of the ones I bought has it's stitched around it's literally just decorative and it's stitched around almost like buttonhole but really yeah. tiny yeah or you could do eyelets but yeah you could i was just gonna say you could put in eyelets i've seen a lot of fishermen literal literal Actual fishermen fishermen yeah <laughs> literally. literally fishermen hats with eyelets uh or you could do the buttonhole and then cut it out and use fray check around where you cut um yeah i mean it's your project. You can do whatever you want. I don't think any of these patterns call for that, though. That's why I don't have like a a, a go to real technique. Answer, yeah. That is called explore to create, I think. And um, oh, she's made that one. The Glory Allen, Georgia. Did you like it? Oh, Bethany I wonder says if she's the one that told me yesterday that that was what she was going to use. I think maybe. Sorry. Glory Allen. OK. Yeah. So I need to look her up because I haven't made anything from her. Um, oh, the, Andrea finished the Glory Allen this morning. Well, so someone else was sharing about that. Let me think who it was. Well, this is AJ and camera. Was it her? No, it was um, like a big account that does um, tutorials and stuff. Let me think. Maybe I'll look that up. Okay. I yeah. Remember. We, we want to see your pics. If you make one. Really, Ruth? That's a fancy fab. I mean, you know Ooh. what? Maybe our machines do that, but we didn't read the booklet. Right. <laughs> Couldn't find the booklet. <laughs> yep, exactly. Little grommets. You could totally do that. Exactly. That would be pretty cute, actually. I have made lots of bucket hats. Judy, do you sell them at all? Do you sell them in craft shows or anything? I was thinking because they're so fast, that it would be a good item if you have a, a booth, you know, George what I mean? was like, so how do we monetize this? <laughs> okay, how long does it take you to make it? And I'm like, we'll tell him you need to model. Right. And we'll take photos. Exactly. So that's when we'll monetize. It, right. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Glory Ellen is a guy. Didn't know. He has a good, good video. video. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't look at the video because I'm like, I've made so many of these. Now I'm going to whip it together. Um, v Don, it wasn't true to size for me. Measured oh. four times and was still too small. Also needs a wider brim. And that's why yes. I okay. think you're never wrong if you do a toi, a test hat out of like plain muslin or mm -hmm. even canvas. That brings me to the point, Amy. We use quilting cotton, but could you use canvas? Could you use other materials? All of mine are quilting cotton except this one, which is denim. That the outside is denim. The inside is oh. almost lawn. Yeah. But from both pieces were uh clothing items from a thrift store. I, I kind of like quilting cotton because I love all the designs yeah. and just put interfacing. I'm thinking maybe I'll make a canvas outer and a quilting cotton inner maybe as we head into fall. Yeah. That might be. Because some of those September days are still super blary and even hot, but then you get cool in the mornings and evenings might 
might be good for an outing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Let's see. I had a pattern. Jennifer says I had a pattern from Mr. Domestic. Lost the directions. <laughs> exactly. Right, Jen? I, I think I've done that 800 and no. 525,600 times. <laughs> Inside joke. If you listen to the podcast, you're in it, you know, not that we're trying to be exclusive, but no, because everyone can listen. That's the beauty. Yeah. It's open to all. There we go. Uh, yay. Bucket hats. I'm liking them more and more. The more, people the more I you see. see. Yep. Yeah. The more you see them, the more you put it on. <laughs> oh yeah, I should put my. I like this one, and see this has really pink. Cute. Um, you get used to seeing yourself in it, I think, and then I just feel like it's such a like outside practicality. I really like it. You could even pull it down, kind of be like film noir, mysterious, mm -hmm. like Ingrid Bergman or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, it takes some getting used to to see myself in a hat like this. I just feel like sometimes people have a face for it and people don't, you know? You definitely and I'm not, do. I'm a don't. Oh, <laughs> I think you do. Great idea, Georgia. Yeah. Yes, make one with old jeans. Perfect. Yeah, that would be cute. And I think you could also, if you wanted to, if you're embroidery in the hoop people, you could bling this out with all kinds of tricked up yeah. stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm going to put a big motorcycle. <laughs> yes. That's so motorcycle. That's so motorcycle. I kind of want to shorten this side brim or whatever the side, whatever it's called. This part, the crown. Yeah. Side crown. Side crown. That's what I kind of want to try one where this is shorter. Yeah. Do it. I think you More should. More Gilligan-ish. Yeah. Unless, who is the guy from Guns N' Roses? Slash? Axel Rose? No, no. Oh, Slash. Is he the one that Oh, because he wears a top like hat. Ish thing? Yeah. It was like a top hat. Oh, yeah. Totally. Slash. I wonder what he's up to these days. Probably watching our show. Probably. Hey. <laughs> uh, use my good quilting cotton and SF1. Oh, oh, I bet it's not. You could probably, uh, un a lot of times I'll take something apart, unpeel the SF101 and then use that in a patchwork that pillow. Yeah. Not a waste. Don't worry. Coin purses, wallets, you could, you could still use that fabric. Don't despair. And ask like a friend who doesn't sew how it is, because I'm sure it's better than what you think. I would love to make one large enough to cover my not so cute bike helmet. Oh, That's a cute. good idea. But it won't make you as aerodynamic as a bike helmet. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you're covering bucket hats. This is one thing I'd like to make soon. Yeah. So Cindy, I, I have only done orange Betty's free pattern, which I put the link uh, to her pattern in the comments. And that's the one that I'm making in the video that will be published at 2 PM today on my YouTube channel. But Amy has done so many. I really think it's kind of personal preference and you should play around with many different designers and see the technique or the style that you like best. Right. I know that I don't think I would want to make one that's not symmetrical, but that's one of her favorites. So right. it's just <clears throat> personal press. Well, and if you feel like you have a hard to fit head for some reason, like if you've bought hats at the store and they don't fit well or me, whatever, bucket head here, you might want one of the ones that has different it's bucket head. Yeah. I'm a bucket head. Like, you know, a big, like a big head. Not always. And look, you just took it off again. I did because I, I, I'm like, who is that? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the ones that have the different sizes. So that's, and you can look at, I mean, a lot of them are free, which is why I downloaded so many. You can see, oh, I want one that has a longer brim or I want one that has a shorter brim or there's one pattern I have where this top piece is an oval oh. instead of round. So if you've seen one or you have one that you like that better, I mean, they're all, they're all very similar. And I think also, even if you're using one pattern, I think I could extend this brim just by drawing right. an inch, an inch extra or a half inch. Extra. Yeah. Just trace it bigger. Mm -hmm. I've done that with clothing before I, you know, I cut the pattern out and I'm about to cut the fabric and I think, Ooh, I want a little bit more room. So I'll cut like half an inch bigger yeah. than the pattern piece. I've just done that. Or I'll make sleeves or the hem a couple inches longer. Oh, and then yeah. a lot of times I cut it off at the end, but yeah. I'd rather have it there Safe and than it. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. 
yes, exactly, Michelle. SPF, bucket hat, maybe a chainmail suit, yeah. steel toe boots, anti aging regime, regimen. Stay indoors. <laughs> Stay indoors. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Just made a fanny pack from the thrift shop. Hawaiian shirt. Perfect. Oh, cute. I bet that's super cute, Georgia. I see that. Kelly says she made one a few years ago, but accidentally made a child size. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, that that's would a bummer. Be. Yeah. Well, I mean, what can you do? I've been there, done that. Not measured and cut out a pattern. I've done that, too. I use the orange Betty pattern and have made it at least a dozen Ooh. bucket hats. Wow. Oh, she's on fire. Yeah, she is. Did you make the one from mood fabric? I did not. I have not yet. Yeah. I should look at it though. Sandy says I got one done last night and it fits. Yahoo. Mood has a bunch of sizes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sizes. Oh my gosh. So that's one good thing about theirs. It's like kids and adults. I'm just looking at it. It looks very so, similar. I think Karen, what Karen is referring to is the easing. But if you, in the video, I show you how I fold this in quadrants and I fold this in quadrants and then this in quadrants and I match all the seams and the creases and it is so much easier to ease. Uh, so yeah, I, I that's a good idea though. Whoa, squeaky door. Uh, let's see. I printed the mood bucket hat and I watched. Oh, oh great. Um, where? Oh, he's on the couch today. I have a tiny head. Really, Jennifer? Isn't that funny? Huh. Like, we don't think we look any different, right. but there's these little quirks for all of us. So, yeah, always good to play around. Um, oh, you mean after you turn it right side out? I press it first and then, and I always do that by a seam so that if there's anything like just a little bit off, it's in the seam anyways. I feel like nobody Did you sees turn that. on this seam or where did you leave open? <clears throat> yes, I think I left it in the brim. So that's what I did on the, the last two I made. One of the patterns calls for leaving it on this seam. Oh, uh, but I feel like this is a roundier piece than this. So I think this is easier to close, but yeah, different Here's, ones. I can see just barely where I didn't get that perfectly, but it's pretty darn close. Don't show that part. <laughs> oh, I know. But I just wanted to say like, you would never notice I was gonna that. Say, you can't even see it. I can just barely see it because I can see the threads and it's just a touch pointier, but nobody's going to see that. No. Don't be hard on yourself. I'm a stickler and I honestly didn't even see what you're talking about. Judy, same. I always make my pockets way bigger than the patterns call for. Smart. You need to carry your stuff. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, Perfect. Cute. Yeah. That's a good idea. I should do that too because I have more of this fabric. Oh, I wanted to talk about, I do have some quilting cotton in the shop still. I think this would make a really pretty bucket hat. This is Anna Maria fabric. With and a matching bag. With a matching bag. Matching Santorini. Yeah, I bought I brought the bolts out here. But then I thought a bucket hat is a fun one to play with funkier fabrics, like more novelty, quirky fabrics. Or even the lining. If or you, the if lining. You're like, oh, yeah. I don't want to uh, that's super cute. Right? I mean, and I wouldn't put these together. That's not what I'm saying. I would put it as lining. <laughs> I'd put this as a lining and then maybe stripes on the outer. Mm. I don't know. Just you can really have some fun with that. I've been, I told you guys last week, I have so much fabric arriving in the next couple of weeks. So I've been trying to kind of put some pre-orders up. I know pre-orders are, I don't love to pre-order, but at the same time, I don't, I want to be able to get it. You mean as a customer? Yeah. I want to be able to get it. I'd so. like to, if it's something I know I really want. Yeah. 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 So I'm, you'll gradually see some of those listed and in the email this we this weekend, I'll have lots of links to those as well. And uh, yeah, always good to sign up. What does uh, Joyce have to say? Oh, did you like it, Joyce? Let us know. I think that means she likes it. I think so, exclamation mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. 
Um, let's see, there's always just a point or something. Maybe we were talking about the closure. Oh, for where the turn is? Yeah. Put and matching back. curtains. That's right, Kat. Matching curtains, huh? Santorini tote, hat. Like, you could deck out the whole thing. Okay. Um, Tamara, this, the orange Betty one is also reversible. All of the ones that I have printed out are reversible. All of them are? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Unless you mess up like I did, have to unpick it after you've top stitched your brim. And then technically it's not. It still is. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Live your life. Live your life. Okay. Uh, Glory Allen also has a kit that comes with pattern pieces. Oh, interesting. Oh. Thanks, Bethany. I have to look at that. Lucy Ricardo. That's awesome. I love Lucy. Oh, I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, gets a pair of skates. That's pretty. Oh, there you go. Little bucket hats in your future. Perfect reason to sell. All right. Perfect. What do you have to add to that? Anything you can think of? You can top stitch the brim or not. Doesn't matter. This one is. Yours is. The one I made this morning isn't yet. Yeah. Just it's personal preference. Mm -hmm. If you do make it like we did with quilting cotton and SF 101, you can throw this in the washing machine. I don't think it would. I would pre-shrink it before you make it then. Oh, I, I don't. You don't? No. Maybe I, not. I mean, you can. That's good practice for garments. But for a hat, I don't. If you're buying good quality quilting cotton, there isn't that much shrinkage. You know what? I have washed this one now that you say that. Oh. So... Maybe don't pre-shrink it. I mean, live your life, right? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. If it shrinks like another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I say that because uh, if you buy quilting cotton from a quilt shop, it's a different level of quality mm -hmm. than from a big box store. So just keep it in mind. When if you're pressing, if you're putting SF-101 on it with a hot iron, it's probably taking most of the shrink factor out of it anyway. So yeah, true, true. All right. Patsy said, I also did the vinyl three month thing too. Oh, thank you. Thanks. She's talking about my new subscription. That's exciting. Thanks, Patsy. We're starting that one in July. If you don't know what she was talking about, it's the new vinyl club and it's only three months long and it's going to be a vinyl that nobody else can get and uh, classy. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to show you what I made with it, but you can do whatever you want with it. Is it a surprise until they get it in the mail? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about it until it arrives. And Fun. then I'll do kind of a reveal video and, and what I made with it. So exciting. And I just didn't want anyone to worry about it um, being like, like something really per, uh, specific. It's not, you know, skulls vinyl. It's not flower vinyl. It's a it's a solid, crowd pleaser. It's a crowd pleaser. It's a classic solid color for all three months and uh, looks a lot like leather. I'll say that. So you could make literally anything with it and people probably wouldn't even know you made your bag or your whatever. Uh, let's see. Okay, perfect. Well, I think we've covered what we needed to cover. Does anyone have any questions that Amy and I could answer? Since we're here, what is the bucket in the background? Oh, yeah, we need to talk about that. Oh, thank you. Show your bucket. Oh, it's Amy. a bucket. <laughs> um, it's a possible pattern that I'm thinking of writing up, and it's just foam interfacing, or is that what you call it? Foam yeah. interfacing foam. Yeah. It was a jelly roll pack that I had left over, and it's super. Um, sturdy i am gonna i'm thinking of putting handles on it to make it more of like a like a farmer's market tote kind yeah of thing although it could just be a bucket it's so cute so. and it's very sturdy and she put a little basket in the bottom so i'm gonna get after her about a pattern she says i don't know but i think we need one from her don't you guys it's it's got rigidity without being difficult I would right. say that it's, there. There is boning that I've inserted, but it's um, 
super easy. I literally just sewed channels and then just yeah. fed it right in. So. I mean, for those of you who make your own corsets, here you go. Right. The it's next easy. <laughs> A quilted corset. That's it. Yeah, I can't wait. I hope you come out with that. Or at the very least, a video tutorial. Sure. I mean, and then go to your website for the download. Amy is the uh, person behind Zenblox pattern, if you oh, have right. that. I use my Zenblox all the time as pattern weights. Pattern weights. So that's Amy. She knows a lot about sewing. Been sewing a long time. No. So let's see here. Yes, of course. Thanks for oh, good. thanks for showing up, Anne. Appreciate it. Cat was wondering too about the bucket. Oh well, okay. All right, pressure. Pressure. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited too, Nancy. It's gonna be fun. Let me just click through here, and I will let you guys get on with your weekend. Let me think if I'm. Oh, you know what? I have to. Uh, I will announce the winners from last week's live in the comments in right after we're done because there were some things we had to figure out. So I will be picking two winners from last week. And like always, we'll pick from the comments this week and contact the winners next week. So we give a full week. If you didn't make the live, you have all week to watch the video and comment. So just wanted to make that clear. All right, super wonderful. Yes, please. We need that pattern. Okay, I'm reading all these and I'm going, <laughs> no, no. I, no, I'm committed. You can do it. You can. I'm not as speedy as Miss Natalie is cranking out it, stuff. So it's great. You, know, you don't have to be speedy. We're just different that way. Your dresses and pants. Oh. Now two of my grandsons want a hat. Oh, you're going to be sewing for all day, but right? No, because they're fast. Well, that's true. She'll probably be done in an hour. Yes, we are the voices behind Seems Funny Podcast. Amy is the creator. <laughs> well, I'd say we're both the creators. Um, oh, oh, thanks, Kat. <laughs> Perfect. Well, what do you say? Is that a wrap up? That's a wrap. That's a wrap up. Get get the, the black and white thing. What's that called? I just call it a clapper. I know that's not right. <laughs> Perfect. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. We will list the winners shortly and hope to see you next week with our next uh, little tidbit of information. And oh, I have to show this really quick. Soft oh. vinyl. It would make a cute hat and you can wash and dry soft vinyl. FYI. Oh, it would be cute. Lots of videos on that on my channel if you guys don't know about my soft vinyl collection some quilting on it yeah wouldn't that be cool that would be cute kind of blingy but yeah yeah awesome all right we'll see you soon have a great weekend